Hey, what's happening, YouTube? This is Hayes Anderson. This is a video on the June 60 pedal. I'm just going to mumble and bumble my way through this one. Pardon me. It's not scripted. I just want to get this out of the way. So, should you buy the June 60 pedal? Well, I think that really depends on one thing. Do you have the ability to mix the signal coming in with the affected signal that is coming out? If you do not, then this pedal probably is not for you. So, in other words, if you don't have a mixer that has an aux chain and, of course, all the extra cables necessary, then you're probably are going to be disappointed with this pedal, no doubt about it. I want to give a quick demonstration, but first an explanation. My mixer is off screen. I couldn't explain it to you, even if you could see it, doesn't matter. But suffice to say, I have uh, an aux signal set up mono into the June 60 and stereo out back to a stereo channel on my mixer. So right now I have the uh, MicroFreak routed to the June 60. And I'm just going to play it for you. This is what the Microfreak sounds like without any effects. So it's very flat. And now I'm going to take it just through the June 60. And the June 60 is going to, and you're just, just hearing what's coming out of the June 60. So that's better, but that still is pretty darn lackluster. And if that's what you heard when you got this pedal, you should be disappointed. But now I'm going to do is I'm going to mix both of those signals together. Now I hope you agree that that's a much, much better sound. Is that exactly what the Juno course is like? I really don't know. I really don't care. That's not why I bought this pedal. Uh, I bought this pedal because I just wanted a nice analog course and it fits the bill for me. But again, you need to have some way to mix that um, original signal back in or you're really just not going to get the full stereo presence that this pedal can off offer. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold this core down and try out the three different settings. And if you're wearing headphones right now, I'll let you judge how accurate that is with the original Juno. It's probably nowhere near close. It's a chorus though, folks. And for my purposes, the chorus is to take a mono signal and give it a stereo presence. And that's precisely what this does. Now I have other choruses that I can demonstrate with. I have two choruses set up on my Behringer SX24424 <laughs> SX2442 FX mixer. I also have two more choruses, one set up on the G1 on and the other set up on the B1 on. Those are both zoom pedals. So really quickly, if you don't mind, let me take this off of the Juno. And that's flat. So first we're going to listen to the uh, effects coming from the Behringer mixer. This is one course. This is another course. Here's a course that is coming from the G1 on. It's just a regular kind of mono course. And then here is from the B1 on. It's a stereo course. And then finally, the June 60 one more time. So to my ears, that's, that's a much different course and one that I don't currently have. So I'm keeping this pedal. And what I like about choruses is like I can use it on a drum machine as well. So like here is um, just a pattern on my TT-606. And then here's with the chorus. So I hope this clears everything up. Uh, I want to wish everybody a happy two, uh, 2020. It's amazing, isn't it? So see you on the flip side. Thanks for watching. Happy New Year. Bye-bye.